What's a couple things that you feel like you don't ever want to happen to your daughters that happen to you? Because it's got to be like, right? No, I, I just wanted to touch on that because it's got to be something, right, that kind of like, no way, no how, this is what changed it. It's, it yeah. won't be a hundred things yeah. that, that'll make you change. It'll be a couple of key core things that just be like, yeah, nah, I'm good. And this is why I'm about to get ready to set the boundary. Plus, I feel like you probably just, you, you showing your daughters, like you don't want your daughters to, to need a man, but to want a man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, oh, I'm going I'm to start with that. That wasn't what I was going to start with, but I'll start with that because you said it. Mm. Like, you know, I, I definitely want my daughters to be strong, independent women, right? Mm. But the thing about an independent woman is you're, you're an independent woman because that's what you have to do, but you still want a man that you can depend on. Mm. So I, I want to teach my daughters. That was some real shit. Yeah. Can you repeat that one more time? You're an independent woman because that's what you have to do to take care of yourself to survive, but you mm. still need a good man that you can depend on. Yeah. Being an independent woman don't mean I don't need no that's some weirdo shit to me. Right. It means that I can hold it down and do what I got to do, take care of myself, be sufficient. But when the right man comes along and finds me, as the Bible says, then that, that burden is lifted off of, off of your shoulders mm. where you can then, you know, just dwell in your femininity and your softness. And obviously, if you need to, you know, step it up, cool. But, like, I want my daughters to be self-sufficient, but then I want them to also— know how to let a man lead if he knows how to real. lead. Most men don't know how to lead. That's the real bag. That's the gift, right? Like, I would, I, that's what I've always thrived for is a woman that's got everything and she looking for a man like me. I have the qualities, no matter what those qualities may be. The next seven women don't have to like them, but she likes them. Right. She loves them. You know, and she's able to take heed. And then when she really opened it up, like, well, yeah, baby, you know, I'm sitting on this mill or two, you know, I really trust your guidance and what we got going on. My mama taught me right. You know what I'm saying? To only give it to a man that's worth willing giving it to. You know? Give what? Just, not even just because you have to think about it. When it comes with marriage, when it comes with anything like that, we'll leave it just in, even in relationships. You, you, you you're, high, you're hybrid now. You guys have yeah, crossed. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's supposed to be, you know, a life for a life. You know, her money's is is his money, his money's her money. You know, some Ow. people live by different. <laughs> some people like some people live different. There's a lot of women that live by the, you know, his money's my money and my money's my money. Right. <laughs> you know, but I've noticed that a lot of women get mad also when a man stands on that same course. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I would too. When do we break the barrier though? You know, I feel like right. these, these gender roles have... Fuck the gender. When do we break that mold? Why? You know what I'm saying? Why? When does, it, when does it come? Because you know what? I've always noticed that women want the respect, right? You want the respect. You want to be looked at, not necessarily as an equal, but when you say something, you want it to be... Um, you want two cents to be given to it, two fucks to be given to okay. it when you speak on something, right. you know? We got to play equality here Why? in that mixture. Yeah, it's, e it's, it's equal, but it's not the you, same. You want to, baby, I'm saying this is what women do these days. Well, you know? I mean, maybe you're speaking from experience. You know, and, I'm, and, and there's a lot of that going on. First, you are right. But I've seen it with others, and it seems like that's outweighing the actual woman that wants to come in and be. It's not even submissive. Nobody fuck a yes daddy bitch. Of course she gets ran over, right? But submission okay, cool. submission Whatever. is not surrendering. Okay? It actually takes a powerful person to be submissive because mm -hmm. you have to be confident enough in the other person's ability and power to be able to lead you. So for me like I'm attracted to power. Pa I'm not there's not a look. I like that. There's not a look. I like, it's, it's not, not like oh he's fine. Right. It's that's that's look. weird. Like there's men that I think are attractive but I I'm like not attracted that. to them. I like that. There's men that I don't that's think real. are physically attracted that I've been attracted to that's real. because of the way they carry themselves, their demeanor, the power they hold. I gravitate towards that because I'm a very powerful woman. And most men that don't possess power think, oh, she's controlling. No, honey. I need a man that knows how to lead. I need a man that, that I can trust because I've created an empire by myself. You know what I'm saying? For myself, for my children. So, But it's no fun to... Do it by yourself. Exactly. You know, and exactly. I know. Exactly. Because I can, so I can lie my ass off and sit here and say, even as myself as a man, that oh, I want to do it by myself. I don't think anybody wants no. to do I it No, I mean, maybe yourself. for a little bit when you're in your 20s and you just want to pop up. Nah. But, like, as you, you get, get older, older? It, no, nobody wants to do that by themselves. No. You know, so. Like nobody young wants to do it by themselves. That's why they have, quote, unquote, friends. 
Everybody has. They friends. just want to do it with a whole we bunch of people. Learn, yeah, <laughs> we, we learn as we get older, we don't have a bunch of friends. So exactly. you start to want to cling towards somebody that really has, fuck them liking you for just liking you. Like me and have my best interest. Best interest is everything. Absolutely. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. But, you know, going back to the original thing that, that you mentioned about, like, what don't, what do I want to teach my daughters? You know, going back to, and everybody believes in different things. So this mm. is not a universal thing, but like for Come me, on, for me, I, I was, I was raised to, you know, with what the Bible teaches. And that is that, you know, a woman is originally <coughs> created to be a helper and a man was created to be the protector, the provider. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. so Continue. like protector and, Provider. Yeah, protector and, and, and provider. You know, I've been seeing all these all these podcasts popping up. And I feel like podcast equipment was on sale because a lot of motherfuckers just talking out the side of their face. And and a lot of these conversations are about masculine and feminine, soft and strong and all these other different things. Can I ask you something? Yes. Don't mean to interrupt. Please. How can a man protect, provide when they don't, when women, a lot of women won't allow that? If you think about it, you know, some chicks go, and I'll say this just in a general, some chicks go to college to find a good career, find a good man. Some chicks go to college to get a career, good career to let you know that they don't need a man. You know, and I just feel like, I don't know if that stems from the household, what your mama showed you, you know, what you a may lot have of it, seen, yeah. what you may have seen coming up, but I've seen a lot. And I'm not going to sit there and let that be the determining factor in how I treat somebody. Even coming, if I was in a relationship and the relationship was shitty, I'm not going to bleed that onto the next. And I feel like a lot of people have that problem with bleeding their last shit on. And when you ask them, like, why are you doing this to me? Let's just say we're the civilians in the situation. Mm -hmm. We're... They're the suspects. We're the victims. Like, hey, why are you doing this? Oh, because, you know, my last situation, didn't you always notice that comes up in a mixture and now there's a problem. Okay, well, you have trust issues. Why are we even together? Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. makes no sense. You know, I feel like a lot of people do hop in relationships these days and truly, genuinely, you're not even healed from the last one. Which is, which is very true. You know, it's easy to say, like, why are you bringing baggage? Because it doesn't make sense. But... If, if I get cut, I got a scar. Mm. And no matter what I do, I still got that scar. Mm. I can act like I can put sleeves on to cover yeah. it. I can put makeup on to cover it. Right. But when I take a shower, that scar is still there. Mm. So unless you deal with it with, like, scar treatment or cocoa butter or the silicone or whatever, it's always going to be there. Even People need shit, therapy. It's still going to have a it's lightness. Still, it's it's still, still lightness. If you can get it down, even you can barely gone, even see it. You and your you know mind what still know that there was still a scar there at one point exactly. in time. You're going to think about it. Exactly. So people, especially black people, we need to be more comfortable with going to therapy. No, don't we need talk more like that. They're going to make it seem like we're against our own people. And not, I hate that shit. They're going to make it seem telling, like anything hey, when I say it. No, because I know that you're <laughs> about cool to get on... It's cool when they do it. I it's know, a problem when I do I it. I know you're about to get on some real shit, but I'm just saying that's what be wrong with our society. You about to get ready to really pinpoint something that we really truly need to fix, but you yeah. already know everybody going to be in denial. Well, they're in denial about everything. <laughs> in denial about everything. You know, you're in denial until you die. And then, you know, that's usually whatever you was in denial about is probably one of the factors that kills you. What do you feel like we need to fix, you were saying? Um, like you said, the scars from previous situations or relationships yeah. or even childhood. Like most people don't even know the trauma that they dealt with that causes them to act a certain way because they've buried it for so many years. Right. Like you said, a lot of women that you've encountered are have been on this, oh, I don't need a man type thing. And for me, like, I'm, that's not that's not my ministry, but like, Sometimes maybe it is that they really don't think they need a man or maybe is they're hoping that a man will 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 fight for them and show them that they need it. Or maybe their mama never had a man to depend on. So they don't know what to do. So in a situation like that, you have pretty much three options. One, move on to a different woman and just don't entertain it. Don't even waste your time Two, try to figure out how to break those barriers down and try to figure out, OK, who hurt you? Where did that trauma come from? And try to heal that wound. Or maybe she's just waiting for you to step up as a man so she feels comfortable enough to let her guard down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, we eat fruit, right? You got an orange. An orange is juicy, it's delicious, it's sweet, but there's a peel on the outside. 
You're not just going to bite into that orange. It's going to be bitter. It's going to be nasty. You, you got to take the time to peel the shit, right? You're on to something. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you want the fruit on the inside, you're on you, if you want the sweetness and the softness of a woman, you got to go you're through that to, peel. You're on to something. You got to be willing to... Most something. niggas just come and, ah, they want to bite. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, yeah. you, you gotta fucking peel me, my nigga. I'm a, I'm a fucking orange. Like, you gotta peel me to get to the fruit. But what if I'm a, what if I'm a man and I just want to get down to the meat and potatoes of the situation? I mean, that's bitches for you. <laughs> There's a tons of bitches that you I just want to get down to the meat potatoes. The, of the hey, then get you a then Fuck get the you peel. a get you a bitch that don't mind digging in some dirt. Straight and, up. Hey. She probably gonna have a couple bullet wounds, cesarean scars, you know, nothing. Yeah. Ain't, no, ain't nothing wrong with that, but she gonna have the, the tattoo around it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and no shade, no shade. I'm just, you, see, you know. Whatever you do, though, you got a nigga that wanna get there for real, Masika. Like, you got a nigga that wants to, because she seems like you know a lot. So I like to ask I've been questions. through a lot. Been through a lot. So, like, what do you do if you got a man that wants to get down to the mean potatoes of the situation? He don't got time to play with you and court you the way you want to be courted, you know, or <laughs> go through all the, you know, the dates and all the extra shit. He's like, look, baby, I love you. I want to be with you. I ain't got time for all the extra right now. Just know I'm with you. I'm going to rock with you, and I'm going to show you that I rock with you. But it's all in the show and proof. Yeah, well. It's all in the show. Like, if, What if he don't if, always if, got time to give you that extra reinsurance that you're looking for? Because there's ways to do it. Money. There's ways to do it. Like, what's, what's a couple ways for you? Make sure the bills are paid. Make 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 sure they're, they're Bitches still go cheat and fuck other niggas with the bills paid. Well, that's so a dumb bitch. I, that don't, I don't feel. Like, that's well, a dumb a, bitch. Well, there's a lot of them out here. Speak to them. You can look in the camera <laughs> that's and a tell them. Which one? Because there's probably gonna be about a <laughs> which, million trillion of them that's gonna watch this shit. At, Any at, one of them. Baby. At the end of the day, like women don't naturally have that cheating. I don't know that we we don't we're not natural cheaters. Okay, for a woman to cheat, it has to be a, a couple things she going on. She cheats from the heart. Kind of, kind of. Niggas just cheat because they did Kind of, kind of. Niggas just cheat because they did You're right, you're right. cheat from the heart. Like, I know. If they feel like something's lacking or something's missing. Me and you together, right? Me and you together. You know I'm moving, I'm grooving, I'm doing what I'm saying. I'm doing what I'm doing. We put ourselves in this fantasy mixture, okay? I'm doing what I'm doing. And you know you know I'm fucking some bitches, but you know it don't hit the same. Like, I rock with you because I rock with you. But I know if you go and do something like that, I know that you're not just doing that. That's a part of your vessel, like that you're doing that for a reason. You must have really liked this man. I might and it not don't, really it don't like have to have bitch. nothing to do I with him. I might not even be looking at no qualities, no traits, right? I'm not. I'm not looking at shit. But this bitch got a nice ass, and you know what? I know any, any nigga in his right mind gonna hit this. And if you got some action out the bitch, see, the only niggas that's gonna say that is niggas that don't ever get action out of bitches. It's hard to walk through a world, baby. Knowing that you're supposed to seed the earth, right? Seed the earth. And you be a handsome, attractive man. And you but got you a whole even, bunch you, of... But you don't even got to be handsome or attractive, of, though. Hey, listen to me. I'm just, and I'm just throwing myself just in the... I'm just using myself as an okay. example just because I'm here. So fuck it. Why not? And, you know, you got all these irresistible women. Not every man can handle that. That's very true. And especially you with know, the social media age, women will, women will throw themselves at you. you I have literally it, seen. You are bad, right? And what makes you bad is is your personality. That's what makes you one off, right? But let's be real. Me and you both know there's a hundred of you out here. No, there's not. And look like, I'm, I'm just saying, that has them looks, baby. And you no, are that's fine. a lot of pretty bitches, but there's only one of me. There's a lot of pretty bitches, <laughs> there's a lot of pretty bitches though. though. There's, there's a lot of pretty bitches. To set yourself one off. But I'm just saying, like, Men are attracted to, yeah, it's physical. Cool to know a bitch, physical. But it's physical first. Of course. A woman got to find it within a man spiritually. Yes. Well, no, no there's, there's a lot of women. We just did, there's like, a, there's just... a lot of women that actually look, go for physical attributes, which is insane to me as a woman. Like, I don't give a fuck what a nigga look like, how you, you act, how you behave, what can you do? Like, how? Because, like. Bitches start getting taught like niggas. That's why they act like them. You got to think about it. And you know what? I'm going to blame but, but niggas for this mixture because niggas, you, had to, you had to treat the bitch like one for her to act like one to even start it. That's a so part of it. And the other part is, is they didn't grow up with their damn daddies half the time. That aspect, and that do have a lot to do with it, too. But It's, a, it's an ongoing it. cycle. She's not just, she's at least um, nine times out of ten, and I would hope she's around her mama. So she's learning a but lot. But some, some of these mamas, mamas, mamas is worse. Deranged. Some her of these mamas is worse. Like, I'm not going to say names. But, like, we see a lot of these celebrity girls with mamas that, that want to be them, with mamas that come for their own children. Talk with, about with it. Mom, with mom, I'm not going to name names. 
I'm not gonna name names, <laughs> but but it, it's it. it's a lot of it's a lot of these mothers that you that want to be in the limelight and they want to take the you know what I'm saying. So like, if you gonna speak, a, on, a lot of people weren't on. raised right. Who, who are you? A lot of people like, weren't raised right. Who, one or two in your mind. Who do you? Feel I ain't like gonna name these mamas because I already know what's gonna happen if I do it. Yeah, I, I, what's gonna happen? I ain't gonna, gonna, gonna all I'm gonna say you. is I like for me I appreciate my mother for being my mother. Like my mom. Would ne- like sometimes my mom will see comments and be like, "Oh, I want to reply so bad, but you tell me to stay out of it," because it's like, "This is my career, my job. This is what I chose to. Do. I chose to be right. in this public light. I didn't know everything that came with it, but that's my choice. My mama didn't choose it. My daughter didn't choose it. My sister didn't choose it. So if you jump in to try to defend me or anything, and someone comes for you, I'm gonna get your IP address and pull up, and I'm gonna be in jail. Then what's gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? So like, I appreciate the fact that my mama's my mama." That she don't try to jump on social media and try to get on the blogs and do, like that's like a lot of these girls weren't raised right. A lot of them didn't have their daddies around and their mama's acting fucking crazy. And if you really think about it, like where it comes from, like black people, we have only had fucking 70 years to do what white people have had centuries to do. You know what I'm saying? We've only been free since the damn fucking 50s. And the, the the black men were taken out of the home as slaves to make sure they couldn't bond with their children. And the children were so... So black men abandoning their families comes from slavery. Like, I don't I don't personally think that, that a man just gets up and says, abandon my family. You don't even know where it comes from. It's just, it was a... They were sold off. We didn't even... We didn't have men in the home that wanted to be in the home. So it's a cycle that we have to break, but we can't break it if we don't know this is a cycle. So we're now having women that were raised by women that were hurt by men that don't have men and the men weren't in the home and then the men that were raised by women that didn't have men. So the men act like bitches and the bitches act like niggas and then they come together and they're battling because a man wants this power and this respect and then a woman wants to be taken care of but now she's had to take care of herself and he's been raised by nothing but bitches in hair salons all his goddamn life. So now we got soft men that want respect, but they don't know how to get it. And they think you get respect by respect me and not realizing you get respect by taking care of her, by being just being a calm, being that 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 male but, figure she never had. Back to what you said, you got to be taught to be that, though. And, and most of the time, we don't even know what the problem is. You can't expect somebody to be that when that's not what that person was taught, Absolutely. man or woman. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Like, to be Absolutely. calm, it's like... Shit, they done been seeing this. They mama's mama saw this. Like, they been seeing it Absolutely. for years, for generations. So, I mean... It's a fucked up cycle. Where does it... Where do you feel like it could be fixed at? Give us some... Give us some games. I mean, like, it, like, 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 literally, it has to, like... I think a big problem is social media. And a big problem are these reality shows and things like that where they glorify women acting like damn fools and men acting like they ain't got no common sense. And it's like you walk into a scene on these reality shows. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Boom, 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 bam. Ah, bitch, bitch, fuck you. Like, why are you fighting? Like, what what happened? How did her name piss you off? Like, we're, we're sh- gl- this is what's glorified. And this is what gets m- the views. And this is what gets the money. So now you already come from a fucked up situation. And now all you see every time you scroll is ignorance and more more disrespect and more and now, like I said, all these fucking podcasts popping up with these men that don't know a goddamn thing. These women don't know shit. And then half the time, they're going back to a fucking one-bedroom goddamn studio, sharing a bed and a couch, sharing shoes, but they talking about what the world should be. Like, it's, it's not... Is that a go- jab at anybody? No, that's a general. That's a gen- That's not personal. That's you know, a general you statement. on one of the greatest podcasts on earth right now. One of the greatest podcasts in the motherfucking world, Masika. That should be a soundbite. We will not do that one, not today. We will not.